Hi everyone, this is Peter Tusik with Humanware coming at you with a snapshot tutorial video. This one will be based on the Outlook application. Uh, as of recent, the Microsoft authentication method has been discontinued that we were using in Keymail. And while we work on a fix, which will be coming, uh, we wanted to show you how to use the Outlook app to continue to send, receive, manage messages uh, whilst Keymail is not an option. I will preface this by saying, not only are we going to be working on a fix for the Outlook app, but also it may be possible via your admin to enable app-specific passwords that could be used uh, when you are, are you know, wanting to work with Keymail. But again, this would come from the admin side. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to look at the Outlook app and we're going to be talking about sending an email and attaching a file to a message. I am currently on the My Menu. I'm, I'm using My Menu because you may want to put the Outlook app on your My Menu in place of having it in your all applications list so that it's easier to find. So I uh, have done that and you can certainly refer to the video on customizing your main menu and using My Menu if you need to learn how to do this. I'm on My Menu and I'm going to open the Outlook app. Again, the configuration of your account is going to differ, so I'm not going to go through the account setup depending on the type of authentication you need. Sometimes you might need the Authenticator app or you may just need simple OAuth. So the, you're, you, know, you need to add your account to the device and that is something once you do open the Outlook app, which is available from the Play Store, uh, you'll be able to sign into your account. I'm gonna press enter on the Outlook app here and open it up. Outlook, favorites. Peter and so what Peter happens is it will open and we're going to be not necessarily on the top of our screen. Our focus is kind of in the middle of the screen and that's okay um, because we're going to, again, with some tips and tricks, we can quickly maneuver around the screen to get to where we need to be. If we're just using our thumb keys or our space bar, we can really get lost and frustrated and it could be very um, you know, time consuming. And for the, you know, for the purposes of sending and receiving email quickly, we do want to look at some tips and tricks to speed that up. I'm going to compose an email. So I've opened the app. I'm going to press the letter C until I find the compose button. And this may take one or two tries depending on uh, what you have in your inbox. So if you have, for instance, a, a message from somebody whose name starts with C, you're going to come across that. But I'm going to press C until I find compose. Clutter. Share so again, compose button. here's our compose button. So again, I pressed C and I hear it say compose button. And I read that on the Braille display as well. I'm going to press enter. Outlook, new message, web view. So what's important here is we hear it say new message, web view. So the controls and kind of the, the places where we put in the two, the copy, the subject, the message body, those are in a web view. Now, it is not a traditional web view in terms of using web view controls. So what we want to do, our first course of action here is going to be to press the space bar to move down and find the two field. So I'm going to press space. Web view. Get Outlook for Android. Edit box. Mail body. So here's the mail body, and we'll come back to this because this is where we write our message, but I'm going to press space one more time. Edit box to field. Enter recipient's email address. And we hear it say that this is the to field, and this is where we enter our recipient's email address. I'm going to press enter or a cursor routing key. Edit box. Computer Braille is required. And we will use Computer Braille just as we did in Keymail. So I'm going to enter the first few letters of an email address of the person I want to send a message to. Now I'm going to send this to Andrew Flatris, who is our product manager for Braille devices. I'm going to type in A and a D. N. Showing 20 suggested contacts. D. And showing will, seven suggested contacts. You will hear that it will try to autofill. So you can write the entire email address. Um, but if you have contacts that it knows you email frequently or it's going to look through your inbox or you know kind of check for suggestions so i could continue to write andrew's email address or once i know that i'm, I'm getting some suggested contacts if i want to look at the list i can press my next thumb key to look at those suggestions so again you can certainly type in the entire email address here as you used to in keymail previously when you used keymail you could press space backspace and e to pull up contact suggestions here, they're automatically going to populate. So I'm going to press my next thumb key. Clear search button. Here's the clear search. If I wanted to clear my edit box, I'm going to press it one more time. Clear search button. Andrew Flatters, Andrew dot Flatters. So I find Andrew as the first option in this list. And if I want to add him to my, into my two field, 
as you know, this is the suggestion I want. I can press enter. If I press my next thumb key again, Andrew Flatters, I'll see other occurring, Andrew Fl Andrew Flatters. Right, I'll see other suggestions. So we do want to find the right email address in this list. And if you if it's not here, we would use our previous thumb key and move back up to that two field and continue typing the letters of the email address that we may be wanting to find a match for. So I'm going to press enter here on Andy's email. Edit box, Andrew Flatters, Andrew dot Flatters. And it puts his email address into the two field. Now I can, continue to add other recipients if I want to, but we're going to look at what else is available on the screen. I'm going to press my next thumb key. Andrew Flitters, Andrew dot Flitter. Edit box, CC field. We Enter see that email address. we have a CC field. So again, same concept. If we want to copy someone on this message, we certainly can do that. There is a way to also enable the BCC or blind copy field. If you need to blind copy someone on this message. Edit box, BCC field. I just Enter. pressed my next thumb key and I find that in the web view here of our, our message options. I'm going to press my next thumb key one more time. Subject, edit box. And we come to the subject field. So I'm going to press enter to go into this subject field. Subject, edit box. And I'm going field. to type test. Dot T, dots three, dots one, two, three, sending. five, S, dots D, dots three, four, six. And you're hearing I'm using literary braille. I have a two dot cursor. Um, so I can use my literary braille table here. And I typed in test of sending. Now, as we saw the message body is actually located above the subject CC, BCC, and two fields. So to get back up to the message body, what we're going to do is we're going to press our previous thumb key about four times to get back up to message body or mail body in this case. So I'm going to press my previous thumb key. Edit box, edit box, Sandra Flitters, Android to one recipient. Get Outlook for Android, edit box, mail body. Now by default, and you can change your, your signature, but it does say get Outlook for Android at the bottom of the message. And we hear it say mail body. And I want to enter this field to type my email message. So I'm going to press enter. And you may need to do this a couple of times. It doesn't always throw you into edit mode the first time you press enter or use a cursor router key. I'm going to press enter. Edit box. Get Outlook for Android. And again, edit it, box, didn't, it didn't do it. So I'm going to press enter one more time. Edit box. Now I see a cursor underneath the first carriage return, kind of the, the right before it says, get Outlook for Android. I am editing. And the letter E will be shown on the bottom left corner of my screen for those of you who are sighted. Um, if, you're, if you're supporting a student, the letter E appears to let you know, you know that, that they are editing. I know I'm editing because my cursor is now in this edit box. I'm going to type hi. Hi. Text suggestion. Andrew. Uh, Select and let's activate. say Andrew. Dot, dot, war, e, w. Andrew, this dot one, is a, a test. E, dots three, dots two, five, six. All right. And at this point, let's just, you know, I can certainly press enter. This is a multi-line text field. You can change your signature, whatever you'd like to do at the bottom. If you want to do that manually, um, you're using this edit box as you would use, you know, any multi-line edit field. When we're ready to send this message though, we need to leave this edit box. So I'm going to use either of my outer thumb keys. So I'm just going to press next. To one recipient. Okay, we're back on the two field, but I want to send this. So I'm just going to press the letter S as in send. Send button. Here's the send button, and I'm going to press enter, and this message will be sent. Outlook. Compose button. Now I'm back in my peter.tuchik at humanware.com. Uh, I'm back in my inbox, if you will, and I'm I'm back on that compose button where I can then compose another message or, you know, there'll be a future video on, on looking at the inbox and managing messages. So again, it's very easy to send or compose a message. It takes a little bit of practice, can be a, a slightly off kind of the, the typical workflow because again, your message body is located at the top of that web view. One other trick that you can use. So I'm going to come back into the compose field, uh, into the, the web view here. Outlook, editing new message, body so look for Android. if Zero you accidentally leave the web view more options and you get up into the more the options and some other things and you're thinking oh my gosh i just need to get back to the two field or back to the subject field there is a quick way to get into any web view and it's very useful in this app and it will be very useful when we look at messages and replying and whatnot there there is a quick command and that is five six with enter to re find a web view on screen so five six with enter or your right and next thumb keys simultaneously. Either of those commands will put you back into a web view, uh, whether you're on a website or you're in a third party app that contains these web views. So I'm going to press five, six with enter web view. And now we hear we're back in the web view where again, if I get stuck up in the controls above that web view, I can quickly pull myself back down 
Um, and now I can use my space bar to find the mail body. Get Outlook for Android uh, box. Two field, field and so on. And I get where I can do that. So again, very straightforward in terms of how we can get into a web view should we come out and get stuck up into more options and some other pieces. The next piece I want to show you in this video is how to attach a file to a new message. There is a way to do it directly from this sort of two field, but it is not very straightforward and requires a lot of steps. Fortunately, there is a quick and simple way to do it directly from the file manager, directly from the new key files. So what I'm going to do is let's just clear all of the apps because I'm going to do this from, from scratch and this will be very straightforward. So I'm going to tap my square button and clear all of these. Recent apps. Overview. Let's clear, clear everything. All. Outlook dismissed. My menu. All right, we're back all. on my menu. Now, I want to come into our file manager, our key files app. So you can, if this is on your my menu, you just press F and find your key files. I am going to find it by going to all applications. Word, all applications. Main menu, all apps. And I'm going to press the letter K until I get to key files. Key BRF, key, key, key files, key list, key files. All right, here's key files. I'm going to press enter. Again, we're coming into key files and we want to locate maybe a file we, we have you know, typed in keyword that we have saved, um, a file that we, we need to have saved the file and we want to attach it to a new message. So I'm going to come into key files. And if you need help with key files, there are lots of snapshot tutorial videos that talk about navigating key files, um, how we can key quickly... Files move through and, and, you know, find files and copy them and all of that stuff. But I'm going to press D as in drive, D with space to come up to the top of my drive selection. Drive selection. And the file that I want to attach is saved in a social studies folder on my storage drive. So I'm going to press the letter S to find storage. Storage. I'm going to open this. Three gigabytes free. Notes. Folder. All right. I am in my storage drive. I'm going to press the letter S to find social studies. Social studies folder. Okay. I'm going to press enter. Webinar test docs. And there's one file in here and it is called webinar test .docx. Now, this is the file that I want to send. Again, I'm going to send it to Andrew, um, but I could certainly send it to anybody, but I'm going to show you how to attach this to a new message via the Outlook app. So I find the file I want, or if there are multiple files, you can certainly mark using backspace with L. If you have two or three or four files in a folder that you want to attach to a message, you could do that. When you're on the file or once you've marked the files you want to attach, we press backspace enter and the letter M as in more options. So again, backspace, enter and M as in more options. And this is a new command with the newly updated uh, key files that's able to access cloud storage and all of these things. Um, it's a command that did not exist until the, the most recent key files update. So again, backspace, enter and M and we will pop up window, share, pull up a pop up window. And the first option here is share. So we're saying Backspace enter with M to pull up this, this pop-up window. The more options menu is, is really what it is. And we are going to activate share. And then we're going to be prompted with what app or what do we want to use to share this file? So I'm going to press enter here on share. Share via. Now what happens is look, it says share via. And you will have some different options here depending on the applications that you have installed on your device. One of them may be keymail. Um, certainly this won't be an option if we're using an exchange account, we have not enabled that app specific password piece. So if I want to send this file through Outlook, I'm going to press the letter O Outlook, and we will find Outlook. One other thing to note here is if you've recently emailed someone in Outlook, sometimes their email address will populate in this, in this share sheet, in this list of applications. So there may be a direct way for you to send it to the person you're thinking of, depending on if you've recently emailed that person. So if I press O again, sometimes List. we will have an option. Outlook. No, nope, we don't. Sometimes it will say, for instance, Outlook, uh, Andrew Flatris, for instance. It just depends on um, what you've been doing recently. And I've, I've cleared all my apps. So what I want to do, though, is I do want to send this via Outlook. So again, we find the file we want to attach to an email. We press backspace, enter, and M. We choose share, and now we are going to press O and find Outlook. And I'm going to press enter. Outlook, new message, attachment added. And we hear that it says new message, and it says attachment added. Now I'm placed in that new message web view. If I press my space bar, web view, I'm in the web view again, and this will look exactly the way it did previously. So we would follow the same steps. If I press my space bar, 
Get Outlook for Android. Here's Edit our mail box. body. Mail body. We don't want that. We want the two fields. So I press space. Edit box to field. And enter so recipient's on. recipient's email address. And I enter the email uh, you know, address of the person I'd like to send this to. And then I go and move down to my subject. I enter that. I, again, I find my mail, mail body, whatever it may be. And then I'm going to send the message. So it is very easy. I recommend attaching a file this way. I found it to be far more, just far simpler doing it directly from key files as opposed to attaching the file uh, from the Outlook app itself when you're building a message, because that is not as straightforward and it will kind of, you, you may get kind of stuck in a loop um, working with some native applications. Again, this app, you know, it is accessible. Certainly the usability from what we're used to on the key mail side of things is not as succinct. It's not as straightforward. Um, we know that, and that's why we are actively working on a fix for key mail to support the Microsoft Exchange accounts. Uh, but in the meantime, you certainly can continue to use your Outlook or Exchange accounts, that is, via this Outlook app. Hope this was helpful, and there will be another video or two on managing messages, um, and then also on downloading or, or getting attachments onto your device. Thanks, everyone.